Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well and today we're going to talk about free stocks to buy in August 2020 and this is generally like the most popular video series that I do on the channel is talk about free stocks to buy in the upcoming month and three of these stocks are definitely stocks that I will be looking to buy definitely for state of the current prices and definitely even more if they go down from here but just in general the whole UK stock market is kind of on a bit of a downtrend so there's a lot of opportunities out there and a lot of stocks I could have put on this list but I had to go with my three favourite companies because all three of them are on a bit of a sale right now. Dark Group was very close to making this list but I had to put it down at number four um, so these are my top three companies and like I said there was a lot that I could have put in here but um, I had to go with my three favourites in general. And I think in general right now, when you look at the stock market, with it going down, a lot of people are starting to show a little bit of fear out there, getting a little bit nervous. A couple of red days, of people, a couple of new investors being a bit down on the positions, getting a little bit nervous. And, uh, you know, stock market investing is always easy when the stocks are at 52 week highs and they gently go up. And then when the stock market sells off, you start to get a few people getting a little bit nervous that aren't used to it, uh, are used to some of these down days. And this way you see a lot of the more experienced investors can realize what opportunities they are. And in general, like, you know, when the US stock market sold off, you look at the gains that people had now because the stock market's gone back up. And it's very similar right now in the UK. You look at how much the stocks are sold off and you know before you know it in a year's time a lot of these stocks will start to recover and you probably look back on some of these lows and go you know what I should have bought a bit more there or I should have bought that company there and uh, it's where you got to be really decisive and know your company's fundamentals and uh, have the belief why these companies will do really well you know a lot of these companies especially companies on these lists uh, have been affected because of COVID-19 and that's why they're being absolutely you know sold off but you got to look at it now and say has the worst pass for this company did it have a good balance sheet going into the COVID so it wasn't having to take too much debt on and obviously 2020 is pretty much a write-off for a lot of these companies it's going to be just one of those where you talk about can it get back to profitability sometime in 2020 but as well as that are these companies in 2021 going to be positioned to do really well and see profit come back, revenue come back? And that's where the share price will go up. You know, you've got to be forward thinking when you're an investor and think about where these companies will be in two to five years. And if you can look at some of these companies right now and think, yeah, these companies are going to be in a fantastic place in two to five years time when that revenue and profit comes back, then you'll get the share price gains. And that's how easy investing is. It's just looking at some great companies that are undervalued and when you look at a two to five year game plan are these companies going to go up in share price value and that's how easy it is to make money on stock market investing but i'm going to finish talking now and i'll actually get stuck into my stocks so number one is hollywood ball and i have put the letters on there for you guys to have a little guess at what the companies they are i think you'll easily get number three uh, but yeah number one is hollywood ball now this stock has kind of been recovering quite a bit recently but the news came out on friday that well, 12 hours to go that basically bowling alleys are going to have to wait two weeks to open up and that sent the stock down a little bit. Obviously, two weeks isn't too bad, but at the same time, you're still missing out on two weeks of revenue and profit that you thought you were going to get back after such a long time. So obviously that hurt the stock in the short term. So when we look at a five year chart, we can see the stock is, you know, trading really cheap right now. You know, we were talking about prices that were near when it came on its IPO. Uh, in 2016 so um yeah it's it's well it is below your 2016 ipo prices um so you've lost you know four four years of gains on this company so this is an absolute bargain in my opinion uh still on a on a 50 percent discount and um when you look at how much that actually shot up off the lows in march which was um uh, you know it was up 166 percent from the march lows and now it's coming back you've kind of got this opportunity to buy back into this one and for me and um, this is a company that i can easily see myself making a hundred percent return on 150 percent return maybe even 200 percent return on this one so this is why i'm a big fan of this one and it's one that i am kind of looking at thinking is it about time to just extend that position slightly in this one where i have been buying into greg's taylor wimpy boohoo and um, i've been buying into them a lot but this is kind of like one more opportunity to buy this one at such cheap valuations compared to the rest now hollywood ball obviously is the largest uh, bowling venues uh, in the uk the most venues in the uk for bowling but as well as that it does have bars in there that are quite popular in arcades now the bowling side makes about 50 percent up of this revenue for the company uh, and the arcade and the bar make up about another 25% each. And what's really good about this management is they've made all the venues profitable. 
which is absolutely amazing. As well as them being profitable, they're all in great locations as well. So they're all kind of tied into like near restaurants. Um, so you can kind of have like uh, a day where you go to the uh, cinema and then you might go bowling afterwards or you might get a drink at the bar afterwards or go into the arcade afterwards. Um, so yeah, they the tie in in good locations with cinemas and restaurants. So you could kind of tie in a good evening going bowling and arcade. So the location selection on Hollywood Bowl is absolutely amazing as well as the diverse uh, revenue stream now uh, and yeah they're all successful venues and they were looking at expanding the venues um, obviously I'm sure like the expansion plans might get slowed down slightly but um, as soon as this company is back to where it was it will go back to looking at some new venues and increasing those venues I think it was about seven venues they were looking at over the next three years um, so I think it will do um, really well going forward so the ticker symbol for this one is ball B O W L and like I said, it is on a big massive discount. Um, when we look at the P ratio, it's now under a P of 10, which is, you know, quite quite low for this sort of company. Um, and growth wise, you know, when we look at the growth previously, uh, before like the COVID, you've seen that the revenue does increase uh, as well as that the profitability has increased as well. Obviously, you're going to have the COVID dip. Hopefully it can try and make break even in 2020. Uh, but then it should recover pretty strong in 2021 and then, Hopefully 2022 we start looking at the growth again and uh, the company will be putting some decent amounts of growth back into the company. So forecast wise it's pretty good as well and it's got a good uh, history on the company as well. Uh, debt to equity wise it's always had a decent balance sheet going into this. So um, on the balance sheet wise it was a 39% debt to equity um, with only some debt on there. Um, it had 30 billion debt and it also had 15 million cash and um, obviously it's burning through its cash slightly um, it used to have a lot more cash but it's starting to burn through it now uh, but it had a good balance sheet going into this so um, that's why it's been able to do quite well uh, and not kind of have that bankruptcy fears in it even though the kind of share price decrease would you would kind of think so previously as well to it it was a very strong dividend player um, it was paying you know about a four percent dividend yield uh, and even paying a bit of a special dividend as well so i think you know maybe in 2022 we'll see that dividend come back um, and obviously at these sort of prices it'll be quite a high yield as well um, and it was it was easily paying that dividend out before covid as well so you got a strong decent growth company with good management and also a good dividend uh, in the kind of COVID crash as well, you had pretty much nearly everyone buying shares in the company. Um, I think there must be like 10 insiders buying the shares, which is uh, absolutely insane. Um, CFO, CEO, um, everyone you'd want to be buying shares did buy shares basically. Um, it's one of the like biggest um, insider buying that uh, you, you will see. Um, so yeah, you kind of got reinsurance all over the company really that this one's going to do well and number two is boohoo now i might not particularly be buying this one just because i bought so much when it started dipping my averaging price is somewhere around 242 i think it is um, and obviously it's gone up a little bit since then but if it was to drop down i'd probably buy maybe a little bit more but i think this is generally probably one of the last chances you could maybe get boohoo at these sort of prices i feel like a lot of the heat from the leicester factory situation is starting to get diverted to other headlines now and once that pressure is taken off boohoo i think we'll see investors starting to come back into the company now obviously Boohoo is down because of the investigation due to uh, unpaid workers at one of its suppliers and I've got a whole video on this because uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this uh, but I've got a whole video on my thoughts with this whole um, investigation that's going on at the suppliers factory but overall I don't think this will majorly affect Boohoo when we talk about a two to five year um, kind of scenario so I think it's... Uh, it, when you consider what's going on in the company for what this company will bring to your portfolio in the long term um, i think it's a decent little discount obviously before the kind of whole factory situation this stock was trading at something around about a four pound stock and now it's um dropped all the way down to about the two pound range and um, it's now gone up to about 260 ish and um, so it is starting to recover now uh, but when you still look it's nearly sold off half the share price it is absolutely insane now the reason why i talk about this company is so much is because it's one of the great companies that we have in the uk we don't have many growth companies like boohoo on the uk stock market and even though it's not an industry i'm a massive fan of like fast fashion and uh, how quickly things can go out of trend and um, this company has a very good track record and will carry on doing well especially with its us expansion plans that it does have 
going forward. And when you look at the company itself, um, when you look at the previous um, history of the company, you know, revenue has shot up absolutely huge over the last few years. You know, it's growing 30, 40% revenue. Earnings have grown massively on the company as well. And um, they've kind of been growing like 30, 40% as well. And only going forward, that's only going to carry on. So it's, you know, we don't have many companies that have this track record of growth and will carry on growing in the UK, um, which is, something that you want to be invested in especially something on a on a 50 percent discount balance sheet wise we don't have many growth companies that have this sort of balance sheet and um, the debt is very low 1.5 debt to equity ratio when you look at the debt it's only 4.8 million cash 245 million and um, i'm not even sure why the uh, debt is there like surely they could pay that debt off and just have a clean balance sheet but even so um, very very clean balance sheet uh, with so so much fantastic growth as well and on the insiders front as well because of the big massive dip I, you know i always like looking at insiders back in the company when the shares absolutely plummet because they've got confidence that the share price will go up and when we look at the dip that happened in the stock uh, recently we did have the uh, one of the co-founders Carol Kane, executive director as well, buy a lot of shares. And we also had the um, co-founder and executive chairman, uh, Mahmood, actually buying shares as well. And they bought an absolute ton of shares, um, 7 million shares at um, 15 million. You know, that's not a light purchase. That is a massive purchase in the company. So uh, that's another great sign overall. And like I say, when you get these opportunities with a com company that has so much growth, uh, not hardly any debt and, uh, such a big massive discount this is an easy pickup for me like i said i don't know how much longer it'll be at these sort of prices and number three you know which stock it was going to be greg's had to feature at these on this list at these sort of prices and greg's in general it's just one of those that's just massively sold off and with the earnings call as well i saw a lot of positive news come out from the earnings call that i was happy with and it just gives me more confidence to invest into this company so the company as well obviously it's a company that had to shut in the covid and obviously it had no revenue coming in, the stock's dipped, and it's actually now gone to the point where it's actually below COVID levels, which is insane, because the company is operating again, it's getting close to break even, and when you say it's now below COVID levels, um, absolutely mental. Um, so yeah, we're talking about a company that's had its share price half, a company that's had its share price half. Just take that into consideration. I said this about Boohoo, when a company is, has, is now at a 50% sale, of what it used to be it's absolutely a steal at these prices the p uh to be a p now of if you don't take the covid p uh it would be at about a p of 15 which is absolutely insane like greg's has not been at a p of 15 for a very very long time and yeah when you look into the earnings like the earnings were pretty good um it kind of went into saying that it's getting close to break even obviously once again we talk about a company that's affected by covid so we want to be looking for a strong balance sheet and a company that will rebound in two to five years and you'll get them rewards with the big massive sell-off that it's had greg's goes under that category as well you know it's it's going to come back strong um, and it goes on to say that it is quite close to break even now it should hit break even by the end of the year probably within the next um the next few months as well and um, it goes on to say that it shouldn't be affected by the work of home trend because actually 50% of the revenue comes from students and obviously from September students will probably be going back to normal um, So um, most of its revenue source will be coming back as well, which is absolutely great So it's gonna be fine. It sounds like September could be a really positive month for Greg's because you'll have students coming back And also it'd be very close to the profitability side then um, and then obviously 2019 is gonna be a you know write-off year for Greg's but after you know 2019 when we get to 2020 it'll start coming back strong and uh, it's one of those companies that i think will easily give you a good uh, percentage gain and also with its supply chain as well coming in um, obviously the profit margins are only going to get better in this company with a with a fantastic mar uh, management as well and um, when you look at the history of the company earnings have grown absolutely huge in it uh, revenue increase as well and going forward it looks like it'll have a very good revenue and earnings increase it was a company that previously didn't have any debt on going into covid which was great obviously it's had to take a bit of debt on now um which is obviously taken the debt to equity up uh, but we'll see how quick it will be able to pay that back obviously it took a lot of debt on to make sure it was able to get through to the end of the year in case it was closed all the time but 
it's a, you know when this gets back to profitability, it'll be in a good position to pay that debt back um, in the long term. Um, obviously, dividend yield um, dividend yield was pretty strong, uh, and obviously that should come back probably within twenty twenty two with a low payout rate. And like I say, on the insiders front as well, um, during the COVID, we had a lot of insiders buying. Uh, Roger Whiteside, CEO, bought a lot of shares, which is already uh, a big, massive positive sign, and also the finance director as well. Um, so you know, someone in charge of financials that is buying shares is a positive sign as well. So guys, those are my free UK stocks to buy in August 2020. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below, let me know the free UK stocks you are looking to buy in August 2020. And as always, guys, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next video.